Welcome back to the Webbing O'Neill channel. Thanks for joining us for another video. Anthony Martial, he's been banished by Eric Ten Hag due to his fitness levels not being up to standard. We want to get you involved in this one, Red, so get involved in the chat. First of all, straight in onto... Actually, I've just noticed uh, your gloves are on. Is this a tribute to Anthony Martial? Because you don't normally wear gloves. No, I don't normally wear gloves. <laughs> I've just noticed. And they're not a tribute to Anthony Martial. It's cold out here. That's why they're on. Uh, listen, Anthony Martial wears gloves all the time, you know. But me. Even in June. Even in June, you're right there. No, Anthony Martial banished to training. To be honest with you, you shouldn't really be surprised with it. Anthony Martial gave up a long time ago. His attitude's been wrong. And I think uh, with this January transfer window, he's not wanted to go anywhere. He don't want to play football. He just wants to stay fit where he doesn't get injured. He doesn't want to play football and get injured. He's got a move in the summer and he wants a big payoff. And at the end of the day, he's no good to Manchester United. He's not bothered and hasn't been bothered for a long, long time. Yeah, we say that, but do you think Eric Ten Hag will actually play him if his fitness level does get to the level that he requires? No. Anthony Martial is just going through the motions. He's here collecting a big pay packet. He's been collecting a big pay packet for a while. Uh, that packet will run out in June. Yeah, but will Eric Ten Hag play him, though? once he gets to that fitness level that's required for him to be in a match day squad because we're, we're short strikers. Anthony Martial will only do what he wants to do at a level what he wants to do. He won't pick him. He won't get him back in the squad. He's out. That's how I see it. There is no point bringing Anthony Martial back. He's got a group of players there now, Ten Hag. He'll work with him and uh, that's what he'll do. Yeah, well, he has come out and he's publicly stated again, Eric Ten Hag, uh, the reasons why Anthony Martial has been out and why he's training alone. And it's a similar feeling as to what we had with Jadon Sancho. So how do you think he's been dealing with it, Eric Ten Hag, in terms of his man management publicly? Is this something he should be doing? Is it something that you condone? Well, if you look at his man management, what he's dealing with is two players what don't care. If you look at Jadon Sancho, he's had a bad attitude, uh, his lifestyle and everything, what he does, getting up, being late, it's not changed. Anthony Marshall, his attitude on the pitch, you've seen it there uh, the last time he played. He's not bothered, and nor was Jaden Sancho. His man management isn't wrong. He, te he seems to be like getting the players on side. Uh, players want to play for him, right? But these players just not good enough. It's clear that these players not good enough, and there's a clash. Uh, and Eric Ten Hag is taking the flak. Uh, and to be fair, some of it is unfair on Ten Hag. We've got bad attitudes with players. Uh, Anthony Martial's been there a long time, a long time. Football's changed since he first started. The intensity in the game is completely different. Mm. Anthony Martial can't do it. He breaks down, uh, he gets injured, he just pulls a muscle. Everything always goes wrong for Anthony Martial. The type of football... He started playing at Manchester United, has completely changed. It's too intense for him. His body can't take it. And he knows what he's doing. And he's waiting till the end of the season and walking out and taking a big payday. I don't think it's anything to do with Eric Ten Hag. Yeah, well, look, when Eric Ten Hag first came in, there was a lot of fans on our channel and in the in the wider fan base saying that the culture needed changing yes. inside the club. Yeah. So we was never going to get it all our own way this year or when Eric Ten Hag first come in in terms of performances on the pitch you know some players obviously reacted quickly and we got that manager bound so to speak but yeah. this season it's actually shown who are the players who we need to take forward and some of the players that we just need to get rid of as soon as possible yeah I think what it is the style of play and what he wants Eric Ten Hag and the way they play players aren't capable of doing it uh, you know, people keep going on about uh, people breaking down with injuries and that. It's the intensity of the game yeah. and people just aren't good good enough yeah. in this squad. Uh, and that's why we're seeing performances like we are doing this season then because Eric Ten Hag has clearly changed and tweaked a little bit in his match day tactics in terms of the midfield area yes. and actually up top as well. And we're starting to see certain players who can't adjust to it. No, there's a lot of players what can't adjust to it. If you look right through the Premier League, each year, it's changing. It's getting faster and faster, mm. and a lot more players are breaking down. Some people are putting it down to too many, too much football. But what it is, it's the intensity, and that's what Eric Ten Hag wants. Yeah. He wants an attacking side. He wants to win every game. He's pushing his players. He's got a style of play. Uh, he that's what 
That's what he wants to do, and some players can't do it. We're not seeing a style of play, okay, uh, because it's breaking down all the time because certain players aren't good enough. Mm. We haven't got the quality here at Manchester United. Mm. Players what have been here for a long time at Manchester United clearly aren't putting it in because they can't do it. It's not what they're used to. Yeah, no, I totally agree with the man management in the uh, on the team, on the match day squad, yeah. in, in the game, etc. Some of his man management this year, I have questioned it myself and I've come yeah. away pulling my hair out because uh, I don't totally agree with it, but his man management off the pitch, in the background, in trying to change things around, getting these players out of the club. I'm fully supportive of, and I think he's doing a great job. And, you know, you've seen it with Cristiano Ronaldo. There was a lot of players, a lot of, players, a lot of people out there saying, look, he got rid of Ronaldo to bring Weghorst in. He got rid of Ronaldo to play Anthony Martial, which wasn't the case because no. we all forget Ronaldo wanted to leave for Champions League football. And that was his reasons at, at, at the start. Yeah, well, if you, if you look, Eric Ten Hag came in at the same time, Ronaldo wanted to leave. So it's got nothing to do with personalities between him and a player like Ronaldo. It was Ronaldo who wanted to leave. He didn't like what he seen in the club. He knew they weren't professional enough. Uh, the players weren't good enough mm. inside the club and he wanted out. Uh, Eric Ten Hag, I think he just laid down the law and said, no, I'm in charge here, not you, Cristiano. That was the uh, that was them butting heads, which was right for Eric Ten Hag to do. He was in charge. He set the standards. Mm. But Ronaldo, being the character he is, he forced his move out. So that was nothing to do with Eric Ten Hag uh, and his style of play, his tactics, and everything else inside the club. Mm. That was just a situation he had to deal with. I think his man management has been good. I've listened to uh, Tom Muddlestone. Uh, the other day, uh, the under-21s coach. Excellent, excellent uh, conversation what he was going on about Eric Ten Hag. He's telling us the players are behind Eric Ten Hag. People in the club are behind Eric Ten Hag. They understand what he wants, how he's going to take the club forward. And it looks to me, from what he was saying, Tom Huddleston, there, that Eric Ten Hag is going to be staying here. Uh, so the players have got to get used to it. But... Eric Ten Hag has got to get rid of players like your Marcel, and this is just one way of dealing with it, as if to say, you're out of this team, you're out of this club, that's what you want anyway, so why am I taking my time up looking after you? That's how I see it. I think he's yeah. he's done the right... Th no, not the right thing. He's done the thing for himself, Anthony Marcel, and that's all he's thinking about. And Eric Ten Hag is thinking about Manchester United. So just get out of my sight, get out of the squad. Uh, I've got no reason to even, like, look at you. That's how That's how I see it. Been talking a good one there. Take a deep breath. It feels like you want a rant, to be honest with well, you, well, Eric, especially about certain players like Anthony Martial. Well, Eric, Eric, Eric Ten Hag don't want to waste his time with players like Anthony Martial anymore. We don't want Anthony Martial. We know he doesn't want to play for Manchester United. Anthony Martial is just looking for an exit door in the summer, and that's what he's doing, and he's looking for the money. Mm. That's the thing we've got the problem at Manchester United. Too many players have been here too long now who just want to look after themselves and not got the interests of Manchester United and its fans at heart. Yeah, we've just mentioned three players there who we think are the high-profile ones where they've had clashes with Eric Ten Hag and his man management. But if you do think there's any players still in this current squad who you feel that should be shipped out in the summer where they're just not performing for Manchester United, you don't see it getting any better, let us know in the comments but just to end on this note do you think his style and his man management Eric Ten Hag that suits Ineos to Jim Ratcliffe and Brailsford going forward do you think they're on the same page in being ruthless with this squad I don't think they're on the same page uh, not yet anyway mm. uh, I think uh, what Ineos want I think they want to bring in younger players I don't think they want to bring in older players which is quite right I don't think the older players are up to this standard and the intensity of football we need younger mm. players to come through and work to the style Tom Muddleston said the under 21's manager, uh, coach there he's turned around and said they're doing the same style and the intensity mm. as the first team and the under 18s are doing the same so there's a gradual movement so that will take time nothing is rushed here at Manchester mm. United the style and the intensity going through the club will take time for younger players mm. and the players out there in the squad to get used to it and if you're not good enough and you can't do it you're out and Anthony Marshall has known for a long time and there's a few other players 
who know they can't do it. Yeah. You know, if you look at Ericsson, Ericsson can't do 90 minutes. Yeah. Yes, he's good when the ball's at his feet, but the intensity of the game passes him by. I use Ericsson as an example. There is plenty out there and you know who they are. Hello. Bought Ericsson uh, five years too late, just the same with Cavani. Um, but with Eric Tenag and Ineos, I expect them to have a good working relationship, me, to be quite honest with you. We know what Eric Tenag's CV is like coming away from Ajax, working with a lot of the youngster players. And, you know, there was a lot that I didn't agree with with Ralph Ranić in his time at Manchester United. But I remember him turning around and saying the type of profile of a player that should be bought and brought into Manchester United. And it was always around that age range of 23 years old because you can get them younger players to come into the squad, they'll work for you. And you can actually mould these players into the playing style that you want without having any like, you know, uh, bad traits from previous managers or previous football clubs. So I expect it to go down that route of, you know, getting younger players in this summer and maybe the odd one. Yeah. experienced player but as we've seen with the FFP etc I don't think uh, we'll be getting any of these older players on big big wages but let us know what you think I thought we'd just do a brief overview overview today on the news on Anthony Martial obviously past and recent experiences under Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United as well you've got your gloves on and I think it was actually a very good idea because I actually can't feel my hands now so uh, well, as always, your you're always right. Listen to your elders in future. Yeah, I will do. I always do. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, everyone. Thank if you've you enjoyed the video, help support the channel, please, and smash that like button. And we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you.